Ubah apa lengdo, Menteri ke Social Welfare ulah play yang ke Control Room bertemai High Directorate of Social Welfare, ban ai ke jing syakri bapaka naga benta ke bahar kamiat jengki kena bat kilong kemi haka emlang salang. Ulah wak jing tip ru yang ke jing e bat jing dan kam baki nong tray ke nika tenat kia kendo, haki jing tray kam baman ke sengi jengki. Ulah wak jing tip yang ke jing tray jengka Child Development, Control Room, Child and Women Helpline. Ulah kentu ya kini orang tray kene ke office, ban tray borba, ban jarap, ya kini kena abat kilong kemi kiba syak ban ben haki riu seni uba bonjai. So these are the cases that has been transferred from uh, transfer to cases uh, to different districts, uh, including the 181, CWC, and 112, emergency. And All of these are, are all based. Yes. And these are the uh, cases that we transferred to the, uh, like transferred from the districts mm -hmm. to our uh, control unit. Control. Yes. So there are total of this year we've uh, received Manpower in uh, women and child headline, it's okay because we are doing it through the central. So we are getting the we are getting the, um, um, the numbers which we require. The shortfall is in the directorates, uh, the establishment, because we uh, in the ICDS, which I told you, we have a, we are uh, we are giving employment to uh, twelve thousand Anganwadi workers and helpers. Uh, Papu, according to police data. Uh, See, first and foremost, it's very important that people should lodge complaints, uh, should make calls to us, calls to the police station. Uh, as you would have noticed, the fact that the success rate, uh, if you go back to the figures displayed there, which would be somewhere around 90%. A lot of these cases are supposed to be closed, which means that they have reached a logical end. Uh, Two is now that there, there is greater uh, sensitivity and greater familiarity in, amongst citizens of Meghalaya about these issues. Uh, so more and more cases are getting reported. Uh, if you compare the situation today with what was 10 years ago, uh, it would be a huge uh, difference because earlier on people prefer to stay silent. Uh, the maximum that they would report is <coughs> to go to the Rangbashnam, to the Dorbashnam, which doesn't have the legal uh, wherewithal to deal with such cases. Now that there is more awareness, people are coming forward, and uh, therefore the number of cases is also... Has that government down. done enough? First, uh, let me thank the directorate of social welfare led by Kong Dorin as the director uh, for having shown exemplary uh, level of service which is uh, well above what I had expected before reaching here. As you can see for yourself, uh, we have highly tech savvy uh, young boys and girls handling cases on a daily basis. Uh, cases of complaint for both uh, child uh, helpline and human helpline are done round the clock with uh, three personnel manning for eight hours uh, shift continuously and there is also space for the distressed uh, callers whether children or women to uh, even get accommodation uh, if, when calls come in the middle of the night, and they have to be picked up by uh, women uh, helpers, women police, because we make sure that uh, uh, the male police do not handle such cases uh, because of the sensitivity of the matters. And also, uh, I'm happy to see that the success rate, uh, like in the child helpline cell, uh, I noticed that uh, the success rate is about 90%. Cases have been resolved. And also that the various districts 
uh, information from various districts are updated around the clock uh, across the dashboard and this information will now be also integrated with uh, my office in the Secretariat so that the information keeps flowing uh, minute by minute. Uh, so uh, the other part of uh, the purpose of my visit here is also to take a review of the functioning of the directorate, uh, the funding position, uh, what kind of intervention is required on the part of the state. Certain matters will also have to be taken to the cabinet. Certain matters will also have to be taken to the five ministries dealing with our department here in Meghala. So uh, I thank the members of the media and I'd like to emphasize here that not everything that is happening in Mega is negative. There is a lot of positivity. There is a lot of highly motivated young men and women working tirelessly to serve society. And it's an incredible story when we hear that uh, women facing domestic violence, for instance, get immediate attention and succor and support from our, our interventionist yeah. department. Well, Bapol, uh, so how do the social welfare department, uh, you know, how do it plays it, its role to ensure that women come out of that uh, fear? We, we have now increased our interaction with uh, various uh, social groups, uh, women organizations, and uh, through the media, I would also like to encourage women to come forward. We now have uh, helplines which uh, are tended to around the block, and therefore there should be uh, nothing that would stop uh, such women from uh, getting in touch with us, and we will certainly address their problems. But it is also a societal issue where uh, our mindset tends to be that we push things under the carpet and when that happens we are helpless therefore we would encourage uh, because we have the women organizations second thing in all uh, areas all localities throughout uh, Meghala those uh, societies should uh, come forward we are ready to partner with them we are ready to support any initiative which is aimed at sensitizing women and children on their need to come forward because the law of the land has to prevail and we will ensure justice. But if they do not come forward, then our hands are also tied. Found out that through ECD mission, the Meghalaya Early Childhood Development Mission. So, if you would remember, uh, Honorable Minister also had been present last year in um, Windermere when we had those programs with Sesame. And uh, during that time, Early Childhood Development Mission comes because in Meghalaya, you have to understand, we just found out the recent studies also as per our data in the rural areas, in one room or two rooms, we have about nine um, inhabitants that would include the father, then the absent father, uh, the absent father, the mother who gives birth to seven kids or eight kids. So abuse happens when an uncle or a neighbor takes care when the mother go out for a daily wage. It's happening. So these abuse, uh, I mean the reports of abuse comes from socio-economically weaker sections of the society to, to address this. So we have now, uh, even uh, right now we have uh, some of our, those uh, young girls who are our consultants who are working on nutrition, who are working on sensitization, who are working on the importance of um, 1,000 days for the baby to be attended to. So the mother does not know is pregnant with another child when the child is one year old. And this is where it opened cases for child abuse. And the reports do come in from relatives who do see these problems. So you, you could understand that. And then for you to know also, a, 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 a social welfare department a, a, is covered by five ministries. One of them is um, the Integrated Child Development uh, Scheme. And for this, we are, we are reaching out to five lakh beneficiaries in our state. Uh, so three lakhs will be our children, um, one lakh plus will be our adolescent girls, and then we have the lactating mothers who are below the socio-economic index. So this is where our 70 staff that we have here are also catering to that uh, situation. So it's a kind of a robust kind of machine working out here. 
and that is what we are doing and so um, this is where we need uh, a, a lot of sensitization is happening awareness just last week through the women hub so we have a women hub <coughs> Uh, it, it's called the Women Hub for Empowerment of Women. We, uh, through Sir, he sanctioned about 89 lakhs, which had gone to all our districts, and every district has had their own district social welfare officer as the chief guest in the celebration of International Day of the Girl Child. It was for 11 days from 2nd to 11th of October. In the month of November, catering to these five lakhs, we've had the Nutrition Month through where we had from the 1st of September to the 30th of September awareness program on how to, um, through the upliftment of um, our people through nutrition so that uh, uh, we can address these uh, other social issues. Uh, this has been going on for a month long. Oh, I had addressed this in the month of February. He had called you in his no. office. The child helplines number is 1098. Just call this number. And then, supposing they cannot address immediately, counseling is done by those girls whom you have seen. They do the uh, counseling in the telephone till their help goes with the Ramrashnam where these um, women police and the counsellors with the vehicle, the uh, quick response vehicle go and pick them up from that place and they bring it to our centres which we have the one stop centres. The women headline uh, number is 181 and this has been very successful especially during the winter months you know. Um, uh, this is again socio-economic when the, uh, when the father or the male is not economically uh, empowered and the woman asks for more funds so if they get tired so you get like frustrated so a tight slap then the calls come well is this